Hi guys, uh, this is the first video. Well, um, uh, that's about my new newest project, uh, long range uh, quadcopter FPV flying. Um, I have uh, done several projects uh, with uh, FPV and with quadcopters, and uh, up to now I haven't. Um, uh, reached more than like 22-23 minutes uh, flight time uh, that's with my Sky Hero right now I have done some research uh, quite a lot actually about how to manage a uh, flight time around an hour uh, and even more if, if it's possible and what I found out is that uh, the only way to uh, reach uh, that kind of flight time is to have the lightest possible um, uh, frame, uh, big engines uh, with low power consumption, large propellers and uh, the biggest battery the quadcopter can carry. That's the recipe for a long flight time. But uh, people that know a lot about this knows that this is just uh, like uh, things uh, we know but uh, how to go through with it and, and manage a, a good flight a long flight uh, is another question and, and it's all about testing and uh, see what's uh, possible and adjusting along the way okay after a long time researching I have uh, decided to go for this frame this is the Tarot 650 Iron Man um, light rigid frame very good quality i uh, assembled it uh, yesterday and uh, it's a very nice uh, one of the best i've seen um, uh, doesn't weigh much i don't know exactly how many grams but uh, it's very light i will uh, try to take off the landing gear and uh, uh, these ones just for the sake of trying it uh, but I don't know if the few grams will do the biggest trick. Um, uh, I think uh, this clean frame is the best uh, place to start. I've also um, bought these uh, longer arms, uh, arm extensions for bigger motors and also for making the arms uh, this much longer. It's like uh, 3 inches, two or th between 2 and 3 inches or 6 or 7 centim centimeters. And um, yeah, and that's also because I'm going to use the uh, RC Timer 5010-390KV uh, motors. Uh, they need this uh, large space. 5010 means it's 50.1 uh, millimeter in diameter. So it's uh, very big motors. And the propellers I'm going to use is uh, 17 uh inches uh, long and um, 5.5 in uh, it's a 17 times 5.5 very large propellers and um, i needed this uh, arm extensions to to really be make it make it possible to use them this will be no acrobatic uh, quadcopter, but that's not uh, the point either. It will be a slow flyer. Um, these large motors will rotate uh, relatively uh, on low RPMs. And uh, these uh, propellers, I have read a lot about them, and these um, propellers make an incredible lift uh, at a low RPM. Uh, so this should be uh, very nice to, to test out. When it comes to the other equipment, I'm going to use uh, DJI NASA Lite, <clears throat> which I have been laying around, which I have had laying around. And uh, I'm going to use my Futaba uh, radio. And uh, the batteries uh, are the same that I use in my Sky Hero uh, 850. 4S, uh, 13 amps, 30C. Um, big uh, capacity uh, batteries and I have two of those packs so I could have uh, potentially tw uh, 26 amps <coughs> to fly with 
and I'm gonna experiment with both of uh, both of them. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, plush uh, ESCs from Hobby King, 30 amps. Which I also have laying around, and, and the nice thing about this frame and this uh, arm extension is that they have room for the ESCs under here. So I'm gonna uh, just uh, mount them here, and uh, the wiring will be really nice and uh, easy to, to do. Um, yeah. So far, uh, that's uh, my thoughts about this project. So uh, right now. Um, uh, at this time I haven't uh, received the motors yet, but uh, I guess they will be here in a few days time So I will really be looking forward to progress with uh, this build Yeah, thanks for watching